Hey, what's up? It's Roy here. So today let's talk about the OtterBox commuter series case here for my iPhone 14 Pro. It's gonna set you back 39 bucks on Amazon. So I'll put some links down below and big thank you and shout out to today's video sponsor, Simply Carbon Fiber. We'll chat about them in just a bit. So with the commuter series case, it is a very traditional case from OtterBox. It's one of their fan favorites. Uh, but I really like the packaging here. So if you get it at Best Buy or something, you can see the opening, you can touch and feel it. It's got drop plus three times tested, the military standard, 5G compatible materials, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. And there it is. So looking at the case here, you can see that I went with the black version here. I absolutely love black phone cases, but with this one, I really like the black commuter styling here. It is a dual layer case, which you don't have to take it apart to install the phone case, but I just wanted to show you at least for the video that you do get this flexible TPU material then a harder polycarbonate shell. So you're getting that extra protection, but on the interior, this is kind of where this case shines because it's got this great grippy pattern inside that's nice up against your phone. And then you can see that it does say drop plus there. If you're looking on the inside, you can see these just super rugged, just interior here that's gonna help with all the drop protection and all that fun stuff. So like I said, you don't have to take it apart to install it, but for the video purposes, I will. And then you literally just pop it on and then you grab the outer shell and you just pop it in. So it's pretty easy and straightforward there. And that's all she wrote. And there is the case installed. So it looks really good. I really like the black case on a space black phone with the commuter series case. I like that it's this harder shell. You got some OtterBox branding here, but then you have these grippy feet on the back. Uh, that's the interior portion of the case that's coming through that helps with grip, uh, not only in the hand, but on the table. And then it's this harder shell, which is very smooth and easy to get in and out of your pocket. So I really like that. It's not gonna get stuck in your pocket, no fingerprint issues, no smudge issues, anything like that. And then with the camera bump design, I really like the camera bump design here as well. It's not very big, but as you can see, the lenses are nicely recessed in there. So it's gonna definitely help with lens protection when you do place it on a table or somewhere on some other type of surface other than your pocket. Now looking at the side here, you can see that we have very grippy pattern here that is coming through once again from the TPU material. And that's where our power button is. And then moving to the bottom, you can see that we have our cutouts for our speaker grill but then we also have a flap for the port, for the lightning port there, so that's nice. I like the design where it's down like this instead of the other one where it's folded up. Uh, so I prefer this version because when you plug it in, it's not pushing down on the lightning cable. Technically it's pushing up from the bottom, but it's very flexible so it doesn't feel like it ruins anything when you're charging your phone. Now looking at the side once again, we just kind of have a combination of the TPU and the polycarbonate, but where the um, grippy part is, once again, it just got those little teeth there around the volume up and down button and a very generous cutout for the alert slider. And then that's kind of the top down look for the case as well. And then looking at the front, we do have some very generous lips going all around the complete surface of the phone's screen. So you're getting some great screen protection and it is temper glass friendly as well. I don't have one installed right now, but I know for a fact it is. And that's kind of the look of the front. And then that's the look where the actual speaker girl cutout is. So you can kind of see that there. So before we jump into the normal test that I like to do with my cases, let's talk about today's video sponsor, Simply Carbon Fiber. So Simply Carbon Fiber makes some fantastic carbon fiber, genuine carbon fiber products. It's uh, phone cases, all that, right? But in particular, I have this forged carbon fiber wallet here. It's a slim wallet design that seconds as a money clip. But the big thing about Simply Carbon Fiber right now is they're running a really crazy Black Friday special that ends on the 25th, where you can save up to 70% off of some of their product. So if you go to simplycarbonfiber.com forward slash Roy, 
check out all that. Like right now, for example, this is on sale for like 70 ish bucks, which is insane considering this is a genuine real carbon fiber product here. What I love about this is one, it fits in my pocket just fine. So I don't have to carry around a bulky wallet, but it has a money clip back here where you can fold up some bills and just slide them in and out pretty dang easily there. As you can see, you have an opening here, which you can push your cards out. Now it does hold up to seven cards inside. So uh, I've actually been able to push it to like eight, almost nine sometimes, but you can fit seven very easily inside of here. And if you wanted to take them out, you can take them out, no problem. And then if you wanted to push them back in, that's all she wrote. So like I said, this is a fantastic wallet for the front pocket for the person that does not like traditional wallets. But like I said, check out their website. I'll put it down in the description, but big thank you and shout out to Simply Carbon Fiber for sponsoring this video. So now let's jump right back into the test side of things. So first let's go ahead and do the wobble test. So putting it face down, there is no shaking going on. And then putting it back down, there's really no shaking hardly except when you hit that corner, but it's not that bad considering a lot of iPhone 14 Pro cases tend to be very shaky because of that big camera bump there. Next, let's go ahead and do the clicky button test and start with that power button first. Volume up and down. All right, so it passes the clicky button test, but it's not super tactile, but it, it's clicky. So it's not giving me that really loud, like mechanical keyboard uh, kind of sound and feedback, but it is responsive when I'm pushing the buttons. So that definitely gives it some stars, if you will. But when it comes down to like some other cases that I know OtterBox has, these are not the clickiest buttons but they at least pass. They're just not the best in my opinion. And then next, let's go ahead and see how easy it is to get to that alert slider. So that is super easy. So that one definitely, you can easily get your fingers in and out in that one. So that is very, very easy access. And then last but not least, let's grab my MagSafe charger. And as you can see, it is MagSafe charging compatible. Unfortunately, it does not have MagSafe magnets built into it. So it will find it, as you saw there, like it'll find it, but it's not going to stay on. Like literally I can just slide it right off. So it's not gonna be a super strong connection. So it's really meant for just laying it down on like a table with like your MagSafe charger underneath it or something like that and that's it. So you're not gonna be able to use MagSafe accessories in your vehicle, uh, so that's a bummer. But once again, a lot of phone cases don't have MagSafe magnets, so that's just something to point out. So there we have it, guys. There is the commuter series case from OtterBox for my iPhone 14 Pro. They make it for the iPhone 14s. They've made this case for years for pretty much every major phone that's ever been made out there. But when it comes down to it for the 14 Pro, if you like OtterBox cases, I can tell you right now, it's pretty slim. It feels good in the hand, especially with all the little grippy parts everywhere around here. When I'm holding it, those little feet back there add a little extra grip. Uh, when I'm holding the phone as well, I can feel the grip. I can feel the grip from those teeth on the sides there. So there are certain points on the case that are strategic to help with that added grip, because with the back being this type of material you know, it's gonna slide right off your hand, uh, or if you like place it on your knee or something when you're sitting down, I can tell you it tends to slide a little bit, but with the feet, depending on what surface it's sitting on, those feet will help at least not slide around so much because they're pretty even with the height of this camera bump. So if you, you know, like to have something sitting on a surface it won't just slide completely away from you so hit that like button if you liked the video if you loved it please subscribe ring that notification bell for up-to-date content so be safe god bless and i'll see you on the next one